Hi, golfers. Drew Mahold here with Second Swing Golf, joined by Jack Ulrich, a ping technician here at uh, the Ping Tour Van. We're at the 3M Open at TPC Twin Cities. We're going to talk a little bit about the Glide 3.0 wedges, brand new to the market. What are we looking at for as far as the tour pros? What do they like the most about the wedges? Um, how quickly are they being put into um, some of the, the staff bags you have? Um, and I guess what's been the feedback? Uh, feedback's been incredible. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the Rocket Morges was the first week that we brought the yeah. Glide 3.0s out. First time any of the guys had seen it, had hit it, and they're they're loving them right yeah. off the bat. They love the way uh, a lot of them commented on how that sits on the ground yeah. uh, and the ball flight that they get. It just seems to capture the ball right. a lot better than maybe some of the previous models. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we've had a lot of success with Glide in the past, mm -hmm. from the original Glide and the Glide 2.0, the Stealth, uh, the Glide 4s, and now this one. Um, you know, things have been moved around, the look of the club, it looks phenomenal. And then obviously it goes a long way with the short game is the look of the club. You're going to get oh, yeah. that instant instant confidence. Yeah. And then just to know that the ball's going to react and, and get a little more spin and get the trajectory and the flight and you can hit yeah. those windows for a PGA Tour player. That's everything oh, yeah. when it comes to the scoring club. So yeah. um, guys are seeing that it's the wedges are capturing the ball what better. The ball flight's a little bit lower, and they're getting mm -hmm. more spins. And specifically, the, the I-2 um, sole and, and grind option. What's that feedback been like, bringing that sort of shape back from kind of the classic ping look? Um, and I guess what type of performance differences are you seeing, or are tour players seeing from that versus maybe the TS, WS, or SS soles? Yeah, you certainly know there's been a lot of interest in that the I-2 yeah. and the Glide 3.0. Um, it's a timeless design, going back to the I-2 oh, day. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of players here have grown up playing that. Um, so maybe some of the older guys mm -hmm. um, are, are very familiar with that club. Um, extremely versatile wedge, right. and now it's it's in the Glide family. So it actually comes with a custom tuning port, uh, sure. which is now unique, uh, obviously, to Ping as well. So to have that option for these guys has definitely generated a lot of interest. Mm -hmm. um, just as another option to have, especially out of the bunker, it's it's phenomenal. It's almost mm -hmm. like yeah, almost like cheating once you get around there. Mm -hmm. um, definitely unique to the the Glide family and especially yeah. the the shape of it. Uh, we've had that ES sole in the past, but now it's basically taking it just to that next level. Where it's sure. back to the roots of the original shape and just yeah. giving it that extra extra oh, familiarity definitely. to it. More pertaining to just your wedges in general. Um, how often do you see? tour pros come in and they get maybe a combination of different bounces, sole grinds. Are a lot of guys using the same grind throughout or is it mixed between their different loss? Great question. I think that, you know, with the Glide 3 family, it's it's brand new out here. So um, guys are kind of just getting to test it mm -hmm. and, and see what works best for them. Right. I know we've had a lot of success with the, the TS, the new thin sole design. Okay. Uh, that's been very popular right off the bat. And then the, the mid wedges, uh, more for those full shots. That's been an easy transition for most guys that have had the, the Glide 2.0, um, they put them right in play. Yeah. I think that uh, depends on what they're trying to use their wedges for. Uh, some players have kind of a mixture. They might have a wide yeah. sole in their uh, middle wedge. They might use that uh, standard sole or thin sole. Might do a couple grinds here and there, but the options of soles that you have in the family from the yeah. standard sole to the wide sole to the thin sole and that I2 wedge, you, you kind of cover all your bases right, right. there. So. Uh, when a guy's looking for that little bit of a difference based off turf conditions, sure. of, you know, going from the West Coast to the summertime, now mm -hmm. back in the Midwest, uh, where it might be a little bit softer, um, we can pretty much cover that by going to right. one of the different sole options depending on what they're currently yeah. playing. Uh, and if we need to go to a, a grind, uh, we might do that a little bit, but we can cover pretty much whatever they need right yeah. with the oh, availability yeah. you have in that family. Jack, thank you for taking the time to talk with us a little bit about the Glide 3.0 wedges. Um, Golfers, if you're interested in uh, the Glide 3.0, uh, I would encourage you to stop into a Second Swing store or, or uh, talk to one of our fitters, and uh, we'll get you set up with one of the premier wedge options out now out on the market. Jack, thanks again. Thank you, Drew.